Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here, back with some more of our Road to the League with Wrexham, and I am excited about this. We have more European games today. It is Hey Duke that we did draw in the Europa Conference League, so that one's going to be a particular good one. And then we're going to have the Carabao Cup final. So three games today, uh, two against Hey Duke, and then one against Norwich. We're defending our title. It's a care about cup defense of the title. We'll see how we're doing in the league and we'll, we'll kind of see how we did up against some of these teams that we played since our Wolves game last episode. So without further ado, let's get right into this one. I'm ready. So here we go with Fulham. We took them on. That was a 3-1 game. And I think it was this one. We had an insane goal. Okay, no, it was not this one. But at the end of the day, we pretty much played pretty well with this. We'll go uh, no screen here for a second. So with Fulham, they just could not get their shots. They couldn't really do anything from there. Looking down, we had West Ham. This one was likely the one game that had an amazing finish in it. It is this one. I think it was put in by Goliath. So we will look at the goals here. We had a 3.64 XG, 25 shots, 15 on target. I mean, it was an insane game. We had an own goal against us. Uh, that was by Gianluca Civitori. But watching these games and these goals, it was just insane. There's nine goals in this game. Nine. So it starts off first with three goals within about three minutes of each other. That... First starts off with a West Ham 1-0. And then we have ours with Rafael Leao here. Bell getting the pass up. Takes an angle on the side. Crosses it. It does pop up. And Leao can get it in the air. And then immediately within the first minutes of that one. So within about two minutes. Three goals here. It's West Ham on a counter. And well, Stevenson gets his second goal of the game. Arda here on a set piece in. It's head up, Kinlan looking around, going to dribble. He's going to take some time and find Joe Bell in the middle, and then we tie it 2-2. This one is our own goal here by John Lucas Salvatore. Played up, Marat Kaplan. Salvatore tries to block it from Stevenson. Would have been Stevenson's hat trick there, but uh, goes off Salvatore. Arda off another set piece. Bell puts that in. I believe that one was Bell. Yes, it was. Another one here. This is by Thomas Probega. Just a great layup there by layout on the Probega. And here's the one by Arda that we're going to see. That one, a spectacular, spectacular one. I mean, we, we have to look at this. I mean, we have to look at this, what, from uh, not the sideline, from behind goal, maybe? Maybe behind goal or work? So here it is. It's going to go up in this upper corner here. But Arda putting this through curves it through the line here. It splits. And that's how he's able to put it through. It was just an insane goal. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get one that uh, has it directly behind him. But yeah, it was an insane bit because that did not end the goals. Akia Kai comes in. On some reserve and well he comes in off the bench to score one himself six to three with that one and then we took on Man City well at this time it wasn't Erlen Holland scoring three goals like we had what back here or it was six one Erlen Holland had three goals in that one we were able to keep Erlen Holland off the scoreboard, but Thomas Neves and Lloyd Bustos uh, it was 3-1. And Caputo got one in consolation time, really, in the 91st minute. So here is Hajduk. We're going to be going away to Croatia. Their key player being Norbit Bodu. Decent player. I mean, his jumping reach probably isn't the greatest. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I think we should see a lot more than what we have uh, than what Hadou can give us. So there's that. What it looked like in the 
elimination round, the knockout round. Nothing crazy rapid. Vienna did win in uh, penalties. So they beat AIK. Brown was knocked out by Molda. And then the only one, Porto beat uh, Slavico easily 4-0 uh, in aggregate. So how it matches up going to the round of 16 here. Sevilla will play Molda. Uh, Porto will play Wilhelm uh, 2. And then the other ones being Rapid Vienna and Hertha Berlin. So a little German language rivalry going on here. I don't think it's really a rivalry. One's from Germany, one's from Austria. So a little bit there. And then nothing really big in that one. Obviously, the quarterfinals aren't drawn yet. So let us get in this one against I do. So we have a couple of injuries that aren't the greatest. But I think we'll be fine. They're playing a 4 2 3 1. Uh, Thomas Alprobega is out five to six weeks. And Paul Kinlan, the man that has 32 goals for us, is out for this one for at least these two games and the Carabao Cup final. So we're going to have to do without him. That means Kulishevsky is going to come up top. And then Vanderson's going to play on the right. Akia Kai will be the Segundo Volante instead of Tomaso Pro Vega. So I didn't want to pull in Declan Knowles. He has 20. And I don't think we're going to come in and actually. I mean, we should probably play him if we need him. But I'm looking for the fact that I don't want to play the 47. 47 million it takes to get him because I actually signed someone for next year that we saw last episode. I think he could be the guy that plays in that position. That's a, a lot better. Maybe let's see. He just needs more develop, but he's better in speed aerial. He's not going to be better, but being 23, I think he could be just as good. By the time he turns 26. So I, I kind of don't want to pull him in, but if we need him, we, we, we have to use him at that point because we have no other subs. But Kulishevsky should be able to get the ball around and do some work there. Keyword is should. Just getting this first game against Hajduk. We're strong. They're excellent. They actually play pretty well. They're European games. They won that in aggregate. I think it was seven to three. So we have to deal with their four, two, three, one. We're going to be starting off obviously in a triple decker stadium. Okay. Okay. And this is where it gets interesting. The Salvatore in to start it off for us. Arda telling it back to Thiago, just moving around the defense. Looking up, looking for that hole in Hajduk. And there it is. Leao. Well, did that go between the legs of the keeper? Did we just bag the keeper? Is that what happened? Let's look at it. Salvatore. Just a very good pass around the defense. Kind of need to seize it. Nope. It just goes up with the right shoulder of him. Okay. And after Leal puts us up 1-0. Now, I know we're probably... Well, there's no probably. We are a better team than Hajduk, but you never know what can happen. So, with that third game being the Carabao Cup, it kind of is something there. The first two games might not be as competitive the way that we could play, but that Norwich game will make it a bit competitive. So, we'll at least see us through. And this is our best that we've done in Europe. Because we've only been in Europe twice. There's that. All right, let's praise the boys. It is raining like hell outside. I can hear it. Like physically outside. Vanderson with the throw in here. Going to Kulishevsky. Did Kulishevsky do no, do to actually won that? Salvatore wants a shot. Let the man have one. All right, here we go. 34th minute. Salvatore putting it in. 
Giakai, the youngster, see what he can do for us. I think he's going to end up being... Maybe next year he might start, but we'll see if Probega actually stays. And Leao, look at the... Look at the speed. Rafael Leao coming back off injury over the past couple of games. Got his first goal in a while last game, and now he is just putting it on us for late well not last game because it was caputo they got it against man city but the game before that he's fully up to fitness fully up to sharpness and yeah nahaduk is just not going to compete in this game i don't think rafa leal has three the man has three At this point, I think we just we take him out. We take him out at the half. Leao has done everything we've asked him here. And that is just put the ball in the back of the net. So I think we're going to make a couple of changes. Kulishevsky will come up here. Kulishevsky will move up here. We'll have to see who we use at the advanced. Maybe it'll be a Caputo. Pudo learning that position might be good. But he is maybe on the way out. I don't know. Let's pull Kulishevsky up here. Um, let's pull in. No, we got Cepeda. What am I doing? Get Cepeda in this game. Cepeda's gonna get in this game, and that's how we'll play it there. There's no reason to risk Rafael Leal right now. No reason to risk him. All right, another chance here. 58th minute. Arda's going to serve it in. Levin Verde hits the top of the post and over the net. Uh, Salvatore is going to be the next one out. I think we might do this sooner rather than later. Let's do it right now. Salvatore is going to come out. We're going to get... Uh, let's get Casey in. Give these youngsters some looks. So Casey's going to come in. Uh, Levin Verde is going to come out. We'll put in Barrios. Yeah, I know he's on loan, but still. A Salinas, maybe? Who, who's the... There's one more in here. It's Wilson. Uh, we're going to pull Wilson in for Kulishevsky. We're going to see how he can play that position. And then we'll keep the last sub in case there is something... It happens it's an injury good ball by Canalita, but art is not going to be able to play that anderson up to cepeda through kolashevsky not that what was that kolashevsky what was that My, i think we might put carlos alberto in in the 72nd minute or so we'll put him in the sub at least goes through. Good ball by Casey. Bell looking cross over. Cepeda header. Back to. I don't know what happened there, but they played the ball too far in, in, in the like in the middle over top. Because Wilson tries to get this ball and he's just like looks it up. I can't reach that one. I can't reach that one. Wilson's just like, what do you want me to do with this ball? That's funny. All right, Carlos Alberto is going to come in, and we are going to roll to a 4 0. So I think we'll probably just do the highlights portion of this next one at home against Hyduke because, well, it's just a destruction of Hyduke right now. And I think that's probably best as Bell should have had the fifth. And I think this is at least give you a, a set the tone of what we're playing with. This is a Norwich game is going to be particularly interesting on in what we can do. I like Casey out here, even though he's only 5'10". I think the man can at least do some work for us. It's a pain to having that knock is not the greatest thing, but we do have Kolashevsky. 
passing is just superb right now. And there it is. Joe Bell's put it in. I think this pretty much sums it up how this game's going to go. So, yeah, if there's any other goals, we'll do the highlights of them. But otherwise, I think we have this one in the bag. All right, so there wasn't any more goals. We came away with a 5-0 win over Hajduk. And I'm not surprised by that. Not in the slightest. I thought we played a pretty well game. A good game in Croatia here. Uh, Porto won there. Cepeda just took a, a shin injury. Nothing. Crazy Wilson with his professional debut. We put him out on defense because it was just a crazy, crazy one. Click the competitions. Uh, no one else has played. It's just Porto. Uh, Sevilla did beat Molda by one. We'll see how that how the Berlin game goes. I think we have to make a cut here because we have the Chelsea game in the middle. We're going to play our starters in this one, hopefully. And then I think we might mix it up with a rotated Hajduk game at home. But there is a break between the Hajduk and Norwich game. So there probably isn't a reason why, why should we should take one. But I think we need to play our starters for this Chelsea game. So we'll come back. We'll kind of show those two games. And I'll show you the highlights of the Hajduk game before we go into Norwich. All right, so I played Chelsea. That was a 4-2 loss. Even though Chelsea did get a man sent off in the 74th minute, they did tack on one more goal. We just could not equalize with that uh, man. Unfortunately, though, on Tyduk, we had a red card, and Julian Caputo got sent off in the 48th minute. Good thing is he is only not available for the quarterfinal game, and we actually have him for this Norwich game. So it does mean that the quarterfinal, we do have that. Gonna be going on what the leg looks here. As Sevilla won that 9-1 in aggregate. Porto edged out Wilhelm uh, 2 by oh, a 5-4 aggregate. The only other one was her the Berlin 1-5-2 aggregate. And we don't really care about everyone else because it should be it should be fine, but we'll see what that draw is. Probably later on, because I don't think that is remotely any time soon. Probably somewhere during this international period. What we do have, though, Norwich Carabao Cup final at Wembley. And Paul Kinlan is back. So we're going to have him up front. And the only one that's out right now is Thomas Probega. But otherwise, we're going to have all of our starters out here to play this game. We're ready. Norwich playing their 4-4-2. We're going to take a look at Norwich. Their key player is Alejandro Aranda. Pretty good player. He's a defender, though, so we'll see if his defense can come through and make a difference for them. I don't think... I mean, their key player, even their... Is their captain? I mean, they heavily invested in defense. Um, oh, okay. I don't know what they're doing in Norwich City, but it makes sense why they're playing a 4 4 2. We're going to be playing our 5 2 3 going up here. We are mostly fit. Uh, Paul Kinlan's just a little bit off. They say 75 minutes. We only kind of need him for 75 minutes. Hopefully. I remember if we go in for. 90 minutes in this at the end of the day it goes to a shootout there's that all right let's go boys we need something Lavin Verde with this throw in here to Leal. We pass around Kulishevsky. Going to find Bell. Bell with the shot in the back of the goal. They're going to... VAR is going to take a look at this. I think Bell, though, is onside. And he is. So Joe Bell with his 38th goal of the season. Good passing around. Kulishevsky getting around that to find Bell. As he comes back onside, I think he was probably a step offside. 
came back on side he's able to receive the pass and go forth and do good things in what is the ninth minute so pressure from norwich this is defending our carabao cup title if we get this it does guarantee us europa conference league next season but also means we've won this title twice and there's joe bell joe bell gets another one i think he came on side again var is going to take a look at that announcer thinks he's offside he's onside though the announcer should not quit his day job as that's the 39th goal for joe bell now the record for wrexham in a season is none other than our youth has youth developments what is it i'm i'm blanking right now blanking ollie palmer So Ali Palmer has 40 goals in a season. So we've dominated possession pretty well today in this 62 to 38. So pretty good one, 60, 30 split. And we've came up with two goals and we're trying to attack for another one. Kinlan wants to put that ball on target. He wants a goal in his first game back in well, about two, three weeks. Lem Verde wins that in the air. Kulishevsky over to Akia Kai. That one's up to Kinlan. Kinlan in the back of the goal. Paul Kinlan, 33rd of the season. 3 0 Wrexham. And I think at this point, we have ourselves another Carabao Cup title. Second one in the history of the team. We won the first one last season. And the fans at Wembley, over 90,000 of them are hyped up. Let's make our subs here. Yakai, let's bring Augustin Vallejos in. Lee is going to come out for Alberto. Mario Sergio is going to move over to Kloshevsky. Salvatore is going to come out for Barrios. And let's get Cepeda in for Kinland. Another try here, and it is a big kick all the way out to Barrios. And, well, that's easily controllable for us. I love our triangle passing. It is great. Arda looking. Let's go back to Barrios. Really controlling in possession. Something we haven't done over the last couple of years, and we've been able to do it this year off some good possession ball. Good save by Luis Junior. Good one to panic the shot and force the shot to go a little wide. It doesn't actually hit him. Leao just misses it, but if it's on target, it doesn't matter from there. I'm gonna just gonna say okay. That that's they can have that one. It's three one. Is this this is Joe Bellingham? This is not the one we had on our team. So I think or is Jude one uh, Jude the one that's the better one? I always forget which Bellingham is better. Well, which Bellingham starts at the top? Let's take a look at that, just because I am curious. Jude's at Man City. Jude's the one that starts at the highest. The man's making 32 million a year. Jeez. As we wind it down here, Levin Verde wants a trick shot. Levin Verde are one of our center defenders. Wants a trick shot. That's funny. But let's add it to the shelf here. Let's see who's actually going to pick up the tro. Is that Conalita? I think it is Conalita there. The midfielder in the middle. It, it might not be. Who knows? It's okay. But there is our second Carabao Cup final. We are defended the title. Second in a row. 
we'll see what we can do in the FA Cup next year because that, that's the one we just can't get through we just can't get through the FA Cup we keep on being by League 1 and League 2 teams which is not great so I think we have a good bit of happiness at this point we go into a international break or an international break in this one we have some time to kind of heal our cuts and wounds our youth candidates this youth intake is actually really good so we'll do that we've won the last two view history Newcastle's won four in a row before. Man City has won four in a row. Two in a row by United. Liverpool has won four in a row before. So the key is four in a war. Four in a row. So good stuff at Wembley. We qualify for the Europa Conference League if we don't get up in the Champions League spot. So at least we have football there. Kanlita gets his bonus paid out. That's another Carabao Cup performance. So normally I would end the episode here, but since there's an international break, we should have the draw before the game at Leeds. So... We'll see what, what that draw is. If it doesn't draw and we get to the Leeds game, then we'll just kind of see. But it, it should draw before that. Okay, so I did this twice. We got the same roll. I thought there was like a drawing thing. Like there's previously. There's not a drawing thing. It's kind of weird. We play Sevilla anyway on both, uh, both ones. The first place. So that means... The winner will either play Porto or Dundee United. Sevilla. I mean, this is going to be somewhat of a more difficult game for us, probably. Javier Blanco, their best player. I think they're playing a, probably either a 4-2-3-1 or they're going to be playing a 4-4-2. We'll kind of see what their third way you can... Kind of see. Last turn 11 was a 4-4-2. So that's what they have been playing with us. Key player with Javier Blanco. Uh, David Rios is their co-captain, their vice captain. And their captain is Tengi Nanzu. I'm mispronouncing that. French uh, international, I think, well, definitely French national, but pretty good defender. Again, it's another team that invested in the defense. So we'll see if we can beat Sevilla. This is going to be a big game. If we end up winning this one, it does mean that we play either Porto or Dundee. We will likely play Porto. So if we win that, then it is another team on the Iberian Peninsula. We'll move from Spain to playing Porto, fourth in the Portuguese league. And Tomas Aviedo is actually a pretty decent player himself. And Roberto Piccoli. I mean, he's 34 years old. Fabrizio Gomez. I mean, a bunch of three-star players, but these players could end up playing much better than us. Which means, on the flip side, Brother Berlin has an easier one. Maybe Victoria Pleasant might be the only one that could beat them. I come from the Czech Republic, but if we make it all the way, it likely means we play Brother Berlin in the final and that one will be a particularly difficult game because Hertha Berlin's a good team. Mike Simmons, their best player, looks good. 
I mean, their goalkeeper, their vice captain looks good. Matthias Tell looks like a pretty good forward. I mean, we're talking about a big jump up, and that would be one that we have to fight for in this. I mean, that would be a very difficult one. Man City has already clinched a Champions League spot. They're 81 points. I mean, they've only widened the gap at this point. There was that. 24, no. Yes, 24 points ahead of us. 14 points ahead of United. I mean, Man City has pretty much ran away with this. Them being 24 points also above Newcastle because we're tied at 40, uh, at 57 points. And I don't think that's going to really matter a whole lot in the grand scheme of things. I just, I just don't. Just know that the Europa Conference Final, if we end up winning the Europa Conference League, that qualifies us for the Europa League group stage. So it would be essentially like finishing where Newcastle is. It'd be like us finishing fifth in the league. So if we don't get Champions League football, we'll at least have some type of European competition. We just have to beat Sevilla and Porto, which is two very good teams with that. So we'll be back with this Sevilla game. I think we just played both legs of Sevilla. It is a very good, very good team over in Spain. So I think we play that one. And if we go to another one, then we play another one probably in May. And we might wrap that into how we're going to be looking at the league itself. So I'll play this Leeds game here in between. Pretty good day today. I mean, that Chelsea loss was not the greatest. But out of the episodes we had watched, 5-0 against Hajduk. And, well, 2-1 against him in the second game. Winning that one, 7-1 aggregate in the Europa Conference League. I think we have a step to maybe on our path. If we beat Sevilla and Porto, I mean, it's still down to a crazy game against Harder Berlin at the end of the season. At least we'll be maybe full strength. Hopefully we can stay up with our fitness. But we do have Paul Kinlan back, which allowed us to do a lot of work against Norwich. From there, it's about what we're going to do in May with the league. So we'll be back with the Europa Conference League quarterfinal, first and second leg at next episode. And I will see you guys then. Later, guys.